Hello, my beautiful Taurians, and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Today, we are going to be doing a general reading for you. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend, or foe. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal or info on how to do so, it's in the description box below. Please make sure you are reading all avenues of information in the description box everything is down there okay before reaching out to book with me okay um please also do remember that the energies in the readings can go vice versa so just take what resonates switch agendas switch the roles do whatever you gotta do whatever you don't gotta do is come at me <laughs> in the comments okay we don't do that around here okay so my beautiful taurians and tauresses what's good taurus it's been a while we've got um divine feminine as the overall energy which came out with shadow right behind very interesting and at the bottom of the deck we've got um universal connection so for some of you you're definitely vibrating high you're in your venusian empress or emperor energy okay there could be a libra or a virgo that's very significant okay i feel like um you're raising your vibration okay there's definitely something behind you because this literally flew out like this okay um, there's like a dark shadow that's behind you or there's somebody that's very envious of you somebody that could be trying to destroy you Because of your light for some of you you have balanced the light and the dark within yourself and you're definitely elevating Okay For some of you this could be like another spiritual practitioner or somebody that you have a spiritual connection with or there's somebody trying to kind of Attach themselves to their spiritual to your psyche. Okay, but I feel like you know, you know who it is You're aware you're in tune the universe is sending you downloads. Yeah, underneath that we do have wisdom. So I feel like somebody here is trying to fuck with your energy because you're a divine one. Okay, you know, divine feminines, um, um, people of divinity, people who have got high vibrations. Like, we always have people and darker entities trying to attach themselves to us, okay? Um, so I feel like that's definitely what's going on here. This could also be somebody from your past or a Scorpio. Like, somebody, I feel like someone has it out for you or they're just... Like, somebody could literally be trying to kind of send out or project negative um, vibrations to you. Or, like, you could be finding that a lot of people are just, like, saying... Sorry, you could be finding that people are like saying like negative things to you or whatnot But I feel like it's just because they're jealous because of the position that you are like some of you are definitely shining Okay, or you're working on something. Okay, which is going to enable you to shine some of you um, a um, Aquarius could be very significant. Okay, but it does not have to be but yeah, there's somebody watching you in the shadows here But I feel like you some of you can almost feel this person watching you but we'll see. So what is coming towards you? This is for my beautiful um, Taurians and Tauruses. Okay, gorgeous. So we've got I am fun and exciting, gorgeous, and I am persuasive. So yeah, you're very alluring at this time. Again, I feel like with the I am persuasive, it's kind of like somebody's trying to manipulate the energy. Okay. But um, something fun and exciting is definitely coming to you. It could be a new idea. Okay, I'm hearing kinky vibes as well. Valentine's Day could be very significant. Maybe an ex wants to reach out to you. Maybe you feel like um you're really in tune with somebody, okay? You're in tune with their thoughts, okay? I also feel like someone is having some dark thoughts about you or some kinky thoughts with the with the um with the shadow and I am fun and exciting here, okay? But you know, forget the shadow for a minute. Divine feminine, I am fun and exciting, like beautiful opportunity is coming towards you. I'm, I'm hearing vitality and vibrancy, okay? So that's really, really gorgeous. So we'll find out what that is. Leopard print or bunnies could be very significant as well. I heard you are my Playboy bunny. What what you guys got going on? Okay. So what is coming towards my beautiful um Torians? Yeah, we got I am filled with creative ideas. So again, like I said, a lot of downloads here, okay? Or uploads, as one of my um, tarot friends said, which I thought was really cool. Okay, some of you could literally be uploading work. You could be thinking about um, ideas and ways to implement something, and you could be doing a lot of uploads, or you could be watching a lot of videos, okay? But I feel like you're filled with something that's really exciting. You're, you're, you're very, like, um, keen to kind of move forward, with something okay or somebody could be keen to work with you maybe somebody thinks that you've got a lot of techniques that they want to kind of learn from okay 
you can be thinking about a creative and fun way in order to change something as well hair is very significant i also feel like somebody cannot stop thinking about you or somebody could be jealous of the ideas that you have because you're you're like a creative being you know and a lot of the stuff that you get you could have a significant piscean placement but i feel like you have ideas that are out of this world that not um, a lot of people would think about so there could be somebody that's trying to literally destroy this but they can't destroy whatever it is that you've got going on because you've got a natural um there's just a way that you download information like the source just gives it to you naturally okay we've got i am determined and focused here so yeah determined on your dreams on your goals and your aspirations but again i feel like somebody is like folk determined and focused upon trying to destroy you or what you've got going for yourself but you know you, you're all steady like she's sitting so good she's not even there's no chair but look how strong them legs are okay but no i feel like you're um looking forward towards your future looking forward to your abundance but with all this yellow there's definitely a lot of envy around you okay Woo! and at the bottom of the deck gorgeous gorgeous go just I am divine with divine feminine. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, okay? The divine is in the house. You are divine, okay? Man or woman, it doesn't matter. You are exuding this beautiful energy. You know, they can't fuck with you. <laughs> I don't know who's trying to fuck with the divine ones, but they must take several seats, okay? But this is really, really gorgeous. Some of you, you've got the divine D or the divine coochie, okay? You know, you got a, a water fountain, I just heard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't get me with the, the sexual shit today, okay? Stop it, guys. So, what is coming towards my beautiful Torians, okay? We've got mystery here, okay? So, something is not what it seems, but again, I just feel like this is this person in the shadows kind of watching you. Some of you could be 47, or the number 47 could be very significant to you, okay? But it's kind of like, I feel like you've got some tricks up your sleeve as well. Okay, I'm also hearing whatever it is that you have, if it's like an um, an exciting idea, keep it quiet or keep the mystery in something. Like there's something that you, I'm hearing like, don't reveal it yet. Or there could be something that you're thinking about telling someone, but it's kind of like, just keep it to yourself. Okay, for now. Or whatever's coming towards you, you have no idea that it's here. Okay. You have no idea what this this surprise i heard surprise is i feel like it's a gift from the divine please clarify i am um creative so we've got potential here so yeah you've got a lot of um ideas that is really going to help with you when it comes to kind of um like investments businesses project endeavors relationships whatever it is it could just be cooking okay um somebody definitely sees the potential in you as well and like i said someone knows that you've got a lot of potential and i feel like it's really eating away at somebody but it's eating away at them because they know that they can't destroy you because they can't destroy the mind the mind is where the shit happens like it's where you um it's where you get all your um imagination right could be dealing with the pisces so somebody could be trying to like i said infiltrate your space or somebody doesn't understand how you're doing something like i feel like someone's like how do you do that how does he do that how spirituality at the bottom of the deck you are a chosen one i'm hearing okay please come find i'm determined and focused we've got instinct yeah and then peace so like i said you see how she's got her hand on her head I'm hearing follow your instincts. The divine is with you. Nobody can fuck with your mind, okay? And you're, you're, you're determined to, to follow your own guidance, I'm hearing, okay? I also just heard, be careful who reads for you. This could be somebody who's reading as well, somebody who's secretly jealous, okay, of you. But there's something to do with your mind and upgrades here or downloads, okay? I'm hearing peace at... I'm hearing, I'm seeing peace at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, everything is peace. Rest assured you are okay. Okay. You could be requiring peace as well. Yeah, underneath that, we've got I am calm and relaxed. So just stay cool as a cucumber. Okay, what is underneath this? Confidence. Somebody from your past also may want to make peace with you now that they see that you're, um, you're focused on your goals. Like, you know, like when you're done with someone and then, you know, they see that you're done. They see that you're looking good you're vibrating high and somebody just wants to kind of just knock you off of your high horse is what I'm hearing. So just be very careful about that. 
okay? Because I don't feel like whoever this is, I just, you know, why are they wearing a mask? Like, what's going on here? Like, she's wearing a mask too. What's happening? Okay? So be careful with propositions that people present to you. Because, you know, something may look like it has potential, but if your instincts are telling you otherwise, listen to your instincts, okay? I'm hearing only fuck with others who are of divinity, and that's not many people, okay? So we've got, um, your, let your hair show you the way. So yeah, it could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. Again, at the bottom of the deck, look what we got. Take off the mask. So something here is not what it seems. There's a need to be authentic here, okay? I'm hearing authenticity. But yeah, again, your spirit, like I said, is guiding you. Earth is guiding you. Some of you may be guided to eat more healthily as well, to um, Im implement greenery into your diet okay some of you could be smoking that mary jane okay but i feel like there's some maybe you're not too sure when it comes to making a decision because it's a mystery but again with the mystery card and the instinct this is all about um believing in the unknown and following the guidance of something that you can't see touch taste or smell okay it's just a feeling within that is your connection with the the um the divine right this is going to lead you into a fun an exciting opportunity because you're, you're not sure where you're going but you know that you're relying on your mind okay and i feel like it's like facing your shadow side as well facing your fears okay of not being in control of something but just knowing within you that it's do, do, do you know what i mean it's kind of like um being blindfolded and then somebody's like okay i want you to kind of um pick from these two boxes but i'm gonna and i'm gonna put like a thousand dollars underneath okay and then you've got to choose but you're blindfolded you can't see and then you know your instinct is saying like right and you're like no but let me do left and it's right and then you follow your instinct and then you get the hundred pounds you know what i mean like something that you can't see is going to lead you into um something really fun somebody also could be trying to lead you astray as well i'm hearing as well so just be careful please clarify potential We've got, um, let your hair radiate. Gorgeous energy, okay? And be a part of nature. Again, incorporating greenery. Some of you could be doing a lot of cooking. Some of you could be mothers. Okay, but yeah, following divine guidance. You are the child of the sun, okay? You are here to shine. A Leo could be very significant. This is you, like, looking at your potential. Knowing that whatever it is that you have, whatever idea that you have, whatever it is that you cannot stop thinking about, it's going to work in your favor, okay? Somebody also could be guided to come and work with you or somebody's out here to tell you to believe in your potential. But I feel like, you know, you've got to think about a creative way of doing something to make it more attractive or alluring to other people. Okay. But somebody sees the potential in you, even if you don't see it within yourself. So I feel like the divine really wants you to know that. Okay. Please clarify instinct. Please clarify instinct. Oh, well, wait a minute. Okay, be a part of nature came out again. So this is like my empress, my mother card, okay? So yeah, you're here focusing on your, because this is in the role of I am determined and focused. So you're here focusing on your growth, okay? Your aspirations, you've got ideas there, your nest, your home. Some of you could be doing something to do with the home, renovating the home, you could be moving. Again, you could be incorporating more plants. You know, spring is coming, it's approaching us. So maybe some of you are, um, you know, buying your little fertilizer and getting your plants ready and, you know, um, putting the seeds in, you know, waiting for everything to be all pretty and um, blossomy, okay, when it comes to um, March and April, okay. Again, some of you could be just taking care of your children, okay, but you're focused on getting your shit together. You're focused on your growth. You're focused on progressing, okay. Somebody, like I said from the beginning, you see, energy doesn't lie. Somebody is feeling real some type of way about that because at the bottom of the deck, look, we've got Crimea River. So I feel like, you know, you're out here vibrating high, you know, doing what you need to do, being very productive with your life, moving forward, okay? Um, this is upsetting to someone. And with underneath that, back to the basics, some of you could have moved or you may need to move or you could be thinking about moving. You could be thinking, like I said, about getting products or ideas for like, um, I'm hearing shipments. So you could be working towards something or you could be starting a new business or you're starting from scratch. Somebody wants to go back, okay? They're upset. They're trying to telepathically communicate with you. I'm also hearing your haters are real mad. I'm also hearing the struggle is over. So if any of you have been going through any kind of dark times or you've been upset, there no more. 
definitely scorpionic energy because scorpio is your opposite sign so some of you could have been dealing with a lover or something but someone is really upset here they just want to make peace with you okay this is also you making peace with a situation but yeah i'm, I'm feeling heavy like to follow your instincts because i just feel like if you don't do you know what i mean because the shadow is real close up behind you okay so what is coming towards my beautiful taurians so we've got the ace of wealth here so gorgeous energy so yeah so this new opportunity this money this this new job it's coming towards you also somebody is upset that they didn't make a serious offer when they had the chance or when they didn't make something more serious or you could be in a new relationship or a new endeavor and like i said this makes somebody upset okay but again this is in the realm of mystery so this is what i said the universe is guiding you to something real beautiful Something stable, something tangible that you can taste, touch, and feel. Now, these two are blindfolded here, so they don't know where the fuck they're going, but they're going to something gorgeous. And I just mentioned money. So some of you, literally, you could be doing like a lucky dip or you could enter a competition. You have no idea whether or not you're going to win, and you will. Or, you know, but this is what you're guided to, the Ace of Pentacles. So something new. So this is really gorgeous. It could be a new relationship as well, and somebody's upset about that. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so what is coming towards my beautiful Taurians? The five of passion, what did I say, man? Oh, some of you could be meeting a big daddy, king of pentacles, but yeah. Here go the jealous bitches, okay? People all up in your business, okay? Trying to just entangle themselves to your energy. Again, you know, the hair represents our, anten our antennas, okay? Our communication to the universe, to the divine. So I feel like I said, somebody is trying to get all up in your psyche. Somebody is trying to attach to your energy. Somebody wants to fuck up your mind space because they don't like the fact, um, they don't like how focused and how productive you are without them. Somebody hates the fact that you've got a new endeavor or a new opportunity. Like, I feel like somebody doesn't feel like it's fair. There could be a lot of women around you that are very jealous of you as well. They're jealous at the fact, like I said, that you've got a lot of creative ideas because this is in the row of I'm filled with creative ideas. Somebody's upset that they, it's like people, they're upset with you, but they need you at the same time because you see how they're grabbing onto her, but she's unbothered and untouched, okay? So yeah, there's, there's a lot of um, competition as well when it comes to whatever arena that you're in, but I feel like there's something different about you. You're shine, you've got to keep going, okay? You could be in a competitive field. And then we've got the eight of emotions here. So yeah, a lot of you, I feel like some of you have detached from your emotions in order to focus on something else. And like I said, you being detached is upsetting somebody. Some of you as well, there's something that you need to walk away from or you need to let go of. You know, you need to purge, do your releasing, face your shadow side and something beautiful is about to happen. But yeah, someone is literally upset because you are investing in yourself with the seven of wealth at the bottom of the deck. Someone is upset about that. Okay, please clarify the ace of wealth. Definitely something to do with work and you working on yourself. Definitely, okay. We've got the eight of wealth here. So yes. Okay, together, that's the nine of pentacles. Bougie, bossy, okay, brilliant, okay. Some of you are real hard workers, okay. Unencumbered, self-reliant, self-efficient, independent, okay. Some of you are walking straight into your independence, man. Some of you have been grafting. I just heard the word grafting. You've been really putting in that work. You see, she's got her little hammer there, her nail, her um, scissors, She's been putting in that work to kind of, she's pruning herself. She's a tree, but she's pruning herself, okay? Somebody loves the way that you work, or like I said, you're focusing on these, or you could be focusing, like I said, on nature. You could be pruning your garden or something. You may find something that's valuable, okay? But you're walking right into wealth. Definitely a new job. If you're wondering if you're going to get the job, the answer is yes, okay? They're very happy with whatever it is that you have to offer, but somebody wants to work something out for you, out with you, unbeknownst to you, okay? But like I said, if there's something that you're afraid of, you know, because, you know, when I think about the shadow, that's kind of like something that's in the dark. It's something that you're, you cannot see. It's saying follow your instincts, follow your guides, because this is where you're going towards. So that's really, really beautiful energy, man. So I'm hearing that you're going to get paid for your hard work. Please clarify the five of passion. Who is this jealous bitch she is? Okay, we've got the ace of emotions, yeah. So some of you definitely got a new love. This is definitely a lover that's upset, that's hating. 
Ah, oh, I don't understand that, you know. Sorry, I just feel like I'm a bit too low. I don't understand that because it's just like, you know, why don't people just move on? Like, I'm not even gonna get into it. Let's just let's just let's just let's just stay here, okay? <laughs> But yes, yeah, someone is jealous over your new love. Some of you, you got love in your life, opportunities. Again, this could be something to do with talent. So it could be something to do with singing or artistry, something that uh, connects with people's emotions, okay? But um, people are hating on that. I feel like you've got people that are jealous of you and of your um creativity. Some of you could have a really beautiful singing voice. And then some of you are getting new love. Some of you is all three, like some of you are just loved. But somebody's upset okay about that they're upset that they lost out they didn't they're they're upset that they didn't put work into the situation oh well the number eight is very significant as well karma cause and effect and also the number of abundance please clarify eight of emotions oh gosh the card just has to fall all the way on the ground we've got the emperor of wisdom so yeah it could have been an air sign sorry i haven't mentioned the signs We've got a lot of Earth here, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a lot of water, Pisces, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, and then a bit of fire here with the um, Leo, Gemini, Aries, and then air. So all the signs are here. Okay, so Emperor of Wisdom. So yeah, some of you made a clear cut decision to cut somebody the fuck off. Okay. Some of you, you know, you've got a lot of work to do. You're very intelligent. Somebody could be trying to manipulate your mind. Like I said, you know, the Emperor of Wisdom, he is a master of the mind. This is somebody who is extremely intelligent. Somebody tried to fuck with your intelligence. Okay? And you're like, nah, my nigga, where are you going? <laughs> it's a no from me. So you cut off that supply. You cut off the emotions here. To focus on birthing yourself. Or some of you, you're getting an instinct about a particular person. It's saying, follow your instincts. Follow your guides. Okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, we do have um, the four of emotions. So this is somebody who has lost out on an opportunity. Someone is real upset. Now, for some of you, if you're applying for a job and you were chosen, everybody else is just mad, okay? <laughs> They're just mad because they didn't get the job, okay? Um, for others of you, this could be a relationship, like I said, where like somebody missed out their chance and now they're seeing that you're reigning supreme with your divine energy and this person is all up in their feelings about it because they can just all they can do is watch you in the shadows, okay because when you were trying to offer your cup they weren't taking no notice they were focused on other things empty empty shit you're like okay you want to focus on the empty cup how about i pour out all my emotions motherfucker okay go real cold on you and leave you like this wallowing in your sorrows okay so yeah somebody around here look at that yeah Seven of wisdom underneath that. Somebody was a liar, a cheater, a stealer, whatever they were. This person is upset because you just ended things. You're like, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Okay? So, yeah, energy doesn't lie. Someone is basically jealous of your come up. I mean, let's just keep it, let's just keep it 100. So, what do you need to affirm to yourself? <clears throat> Someone is feeling ignored. They're feeling bored with their life, with their decisions. I feel like somebody doesn't have any peace. Or like I said, somebody wishes to make peace with you, but you are at peace without this person or without these people in your life, okay? Because, oh, shit. It does, oh, they didn't like when I said that. It doesn't have to be um, a lover. It could just be friends, okay? You could have just said, you know what? You're a hater. I don't want to fuck with you. And it's like somebody's upset because you caught on to their, to their games. I told you somebody tried to fuck with your mind, okay? So we got, I take things one step at a time, it's okay to go at my own pace. So yeah, doing things the way that you want to do it, you're not rushing into anything. You know, you're a patient sign, um, Taurians. And then we got, my life purpose is my life. So long as I am growing, learning, being kind and choosing love, I am successful. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you have chosen to love yourself. People see that you're successful, they don't like it. I trust that I am capable of manifesting my dreams. I will always receive what I want. Or something better in divine timing. So yeah, divine timing. So, you know, like I said, if some of you are thinking about, maybe some of you, you could be in your head thinking about, oh no, I missed out on an opportunity or I'm bored or I'm not good enough. You've got the potential. Keep doing it, okay? Keep um, implementing new ideas. Keep trying to focus on your psyche and kind of like stimulating your mind so that you can receive ideas, okay? And then whatever's meant to be will be, okay? 
so let's just um what angel or spirit animal is around you at this time we've got angels of clairvoyance so yeah some of you are tapped the fuck in like i said natural psychics follow your intake some of you could be um developing these abilities as well okay but you see through the bullshit you cannot be fucked with angel vasaria wanted to come out as well so again with them coins okay there also could have been a fortune teller that told you <laughs> could be me <laughs> but there could have been a fortune teller that told you that you're about to receive a lot of money and you will okay on the bottom of the deck we got archangel metatron so look him up and see but i feel like he's taken down all your good deeds okay and you're going to reap what you sow so thank you so much my beautiful taurians and tauresses i hope that you enjoyed the reading please do not hesitate to comment down below toodles